gonna finally put it to rest, guys. All you new vegans out there, I know this is a big question because I get it literally every single day, whether it's on Instagram, Snapchat, or an email, or in the YouTube comments. How do you get enough protein as a new vegan? How do you chart your macros? How do you know that you're getting optimal protein levels to be healthy on a plant-based diet? Are you ready for this response? I know you're not gonna like it, but I say the truth here, I can't lie to you guys. The way to figure out you're getting enough protein is by not worrying about it at all. Huh? Explain. If you are eating a diverse amount of whole plant foods, or even processed plant foods, let's be real. This video isn't specifically about high carb, about being healthy. This is about getting protein on a vegan diet. Okay, I have done the research. I've, it's been my obsession for the last five years. I got my certification in plant-based nutrition through the eCornell course. I just watch videos all day and read books throughout the last five years. And if you switch from a omnivorous meat standard American diet to a vegan diet, and you eat things like bananas, apples, rice, beans, tofu once in a while, uh, potatoes, broccoli, spinach, carrots, if you eat those kind of things regularly in your new vegan diet, you will be getting more than enough protein that you need to be healthy, to have energy, to synthesize muscle growth if you're trying to build muscle. And how do I prove that? Well, one, I've prov I proved it to myself just from reading the literature and studies and seeing my friends who have been vegan for decades being healthy and building muscle and never worrying about protein because if you actually do any research, you can see that things like rice, beans, tofu, tempeh, potatoes, even some things that aren't associated with high protein, they have more than 10% or around 10% of their calories coming from proteins, which based on the studies we know is what you need around that 10% ratio uh, in order to synthesize muscle growth and, be, gr growth and be healthy. And anything over 10% is just topping it off, but you don't really need it. It's actually taxing your liver or your kidneys if you eat too much protein. So when the, my biggest muscle building phase, no joke, was the nine months that I was a raw vegan, eating mainly bananas, dates, frozen blueberries, pears, and you know, summer fruits, watermelons, peaches, eating no rice, no beans, no tofu. Am I saying that a raw diet is optimal for protein intake? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying it's enough. It's just as good, if you will of eating an animal-based diet. Well, it's obviously so much better because you're not getting the hormones, as much saturated fat, the cholesterol. Uh, but I promise, I don't know what, how else I can prove it to you all. Go back to my videos from like two years ago when I was a raw vegan, lifting weights consistently and eating enough calories. And you will see the muscles in my traps, in my biceps, in my chest. 100% drug-free, no protein supplements. If you simply eat a diverse amount of plant foods and eat enough calories, this is the biggest thing. You're not going to get enough protein if you're eating 1,500 calories a day because you're not eating enough calories. If you make sure to maintain energy levels, to eat enough food, you can live your entire life. How liberating is this? without charting your protein macronutrients. The reason I did that muscle building journey of going from 140 pounds with an eating disorder to 180 pounds lifting weights on a mainly raw diet was to prove to the world and to you all that you don't need to worry about your protein. It will fall into place in the same way that you don't worry about your folate K2 random vitamin that you probably don't even know, protein should be the same thing. It's just something you should assume you get enough of because it would be insanely difficult to get a protein deficiency. I think the only way that you could do it is if you're eating like a thousand calories a day for months at a time, which if you do that, you're definitely sick and I wouldn't recommend it. 
Uh, so that's my video on protein. I promise you don't have to worry about it. If you don't believe me, let me know in the comments below and we can have a discussion. Put a thumbs up on this video if you dug it. Subscribe to my channel. Check all the links I have in the description box below. Uh, and have a great freaking day. Greetings from China. Thank you.